Hello everyone, my name is Adrian Perez and today I'm tuning in here from Momos Tamlango, Guatemala and today I'll provide an update with a project we have here with Doña Leti and as a reminder to everybody, Doña Leti, she's a woman, a mother here who takes care of her son Anthony who suffers from cerebral palsy and you know, together with Doña Leti, we're building a community of mothers with children with disabilities we're helping this community um, build and grow stronger and become more well known here in Momos Tamlango the overall dream for Doña Leti is that one day she wants to have a rehabilitation center here in Mumustanango, and that's to help support the families that need it. With the, de the dedication and the hard work that we've seen from Doña Leti during this project and these workshops, uh, there's no doubt in my mind that one day she will have her rehabilitation center. Uh, right now with the project, we are hosting workshops, and that's again to grow and connect this community. So before we had a workshop where we taught the mothers how to make bracelets. And so with that workshop, that workshop has ended and we have now focused our attention onto a workshop with acrylic nails. So the mothers and the children, they're learning how to do the acrylic nails. And I, you know, I guess before I never realized how much work and energy actually goes into, you know, making the nails. It's, it's interesting, they're learning and I'm learning as well. So Doña Leti, she did update us with some amazing news from the past workshop is again the past workshop was learning how to make bracelets one of the mothers who had participated in that workshop and the information that she had gained she's actually putting it to use this very moment she's going down to a town near Momostanango it's called San Cristobal and down there she's not only making her own bracelets but she's selling them as well and she's you know making some extra money for not only her but her for her family as well and we love to see that. We love to see that mothers are taking advantage of these workshops and, you know, they're putting it to good use and it's actually helpful for them. So we love to see this kind of progress and it's, it's awesome to see. So as I mentioned again, we are focusing our attention on workshops with teaching the mothers how to make bracelets. Or, um, sorry, how to make nails. And, you know, the mothers, the children, they're all loving it. You know, they come in every Saturday with their packs, eager to learn more and and they're getting really good at making these nails. They're, they're learning how to make the nails, how to paint nails, uh, you know, nails of various textures and different styles. They're learning how to design nails. They're learning how to incorporate stones, gems, the, the little rhinestones, and just all sorts of, you know, various nails that you could think of. We started with French, and now we're learning to do a lot more besides that. They're getting really creative with it, and they're loving it. It's a, it's a way for them to express themselves but also this could lead to potential you know, financial opportunities in the future for them as well. And so we love to see this progress and it's been amazing to be a part of. So we have a few more workshops left um, with the mothers with the nails. And then after that, Doña Leti and the lawyer who also assists us with these workshops, we're gonna have to sit down and have a conversation on what comes next. What can we do next uh, for this community and what's, what's the next thing that we need to start thinking about and what needs to be done. But for right now, we're enjoying these workshops and the time that we have. And when it comes in the future, we'll have that conversation. But uh, I want to thank everyone here for tuning in today. My name is Adrian Perez and my information, it's the bottom of the screen here. If anyone has any questions or would like to learn more about the progress that we're making here with this project, please reach out to me. I would be more than happy to address any questions about this project. I want to thank you guys for tuning in and I'll see you again at the next project update.